It's inevitable that we hit the odd drive into the rough. Knowing the options from these situations will help you shoot a better score more often than not. Wen Tang, his second shot. Well, this will be an unbelievable to finds the green. shot of a champion. Reading the lie in this situation is critical. If your golf ball is sitting way down in the grass, the odds of it flying out nicely are not going to be good. Cut your losses. Don't try the miraculous shot. I would recommend you take more club than normal. The reason being, if you take a higher lofted club, it will dig into the ground and get the ball out. Sometimes you just have to play the odds. The other factor that you're going to have to read is if the golf ball is going to get grass stuck between it and the club face when it's hit. If that happens, the ball tend has a tendency to fly longer, and we call that a flyer. You'll often see it in tournament golf. If that's the situation, you need to take less club. So if it's normally an eight iron, take a pitching wedge. So these are the factors you have to read in the lie, and experience from playing out of these situations will give you that. Now the way I'm going to play the shot in most instances would be to play the ball towards the buck of my stance. The reason I do that with every shot is it's a lot easier for me to hit the golf ball first rather than the grass behind the golf ball. That way I have a little bit more control over the shot. So given all that, let's go ahead and play the shot. I'm aiming at the front edge of the green. Let's play the shot and see how we go. Well, there it is. I've got the flyer I was playing for. The ball's hit the front edge. I've got a birdie putt, but I'll definitely make par.